what I'm going to do here is I am going to do uh, two things which will help me graph this, okay? Number one, the easy thing, like it's already been factorized, yeah? So I want to notice where are the roots? And then secondly, to know exactly where it goes, like that's where it hits the axis, but what about up and down, okay? Where am I going positive, negative? I'm gonna use factor lines to help me, okay? So can someone tell me, just read them straight off, where are the roots of this polynomial? Two minus four. Two, negative four, perfect. Okay, so I've got one, two, there's one. And then I've got one, two, three, four, negative four. Happy times, okay? Now, I'm gonna do my factor line thing here, okay? Because I know that's where I hit the axis, but what about up and down, okay? So I'm going to draw my factor lines, right? The first one is x minus two, where does that go? That's, um, that's the, that's, they're all going up like this, and it's gonna be the one that passes through here. You see that, x minus two? It's like y equals x, which passes through the origin, but it's a bit lower. You see that? I sort of pushed it down. Okay. So that's fine. Now, x plus 4, be careful. There's x plus 4, and then there's x plus 4 again, right? So this is a little bit unusual, but there are two factors, and they sit on the same spot, okay? They both pass through negative 4 over here. So I'm going to draw one, and then I'm going to draw another one right on top of it. Okay, I know they look separate, but... I have to draw them apart so I can tell that there are two there, okay? They actually pass through, sorry, the same point. They're the same line, okay? All right, now, I want to take my factor lines. I'm going to draw some um, vertical lines through the places where the factors change their sign. Okay, and now I'm ready. So, on the left over here, I've got two negatives and another negative. Three negatives. What do I get from three negatives? It's negative, right? So I'm going to be underneath the axis over here. Okay, so I shade that region. Then I cross over. What happens here? I've got two positives and a negative. Two positive and negative. So the sign of the result, the product will be also negative. So I'm still down here in this region. Okay, last one. I cross over here and I've got three and they're all positive. One, two, three, all positive. So positive times positive times positive is positive. So now I'm up here. Okay, have a look at your one, two, three regions. You've got to pass through there. But you also have to hit these intercepts, right? So watch, um, I've got to be down here, yeah? I can't come from up here. It can't be up here because look, I just shaded down here. You told me I have to be negative. So therefore, I guess I'm doing something like this. You see that? You see how I have to stay negative? I also know I'm going to touch and turn there. How do I know that I have to touch and turn there? Because it's, it's, it's degree two, right? It's a double root, very good. Okay. So I've got that touch and turn, I'm staying down to negative. But then I've got to come up to here, right? What kind of root is that? It's a single root, so it's just going to cut straight through, right? It's going to come up and off it goes. And that's it, right? Um, this is a way of trying to get away from thinking about, having to think about the extremities. You need to still understand that, but for these questions, you don't actually need that, right? The regions that we've shaded, Using the factor lines, they tell you where to go, okay? Let's have a look at another one. You pick one for me. Pick one of the ones that's been factorized. So anything from B through to I. G. G? 2G. So you can see, uh, the reason why I asked you to choose a factorized one is because now we can read the roots straight off. Where am I going to cut the x-axis? What two locations? Two and negative one. I get two from this one and negative one from that one. Okay. So I'll put <coughs> negative one there and I'll put two there. Okay. Now, interesting that you guys, you guys chose this one, so I didn't do this, but this was interesting. How many factors are there for this actual... Um, Right. Now, it looks like four, doesn't it? It looks like four, but it's actually five. Let me show you why, okay? Um, here, you had x minus two. I'm just gonna count them out for you, okay? I've got x minus two, and then I've got x plus four, and then I have x plus four again. So that's why there were three factors, no big deal. Here, I'm gonna count them out. I've got x minus two, I've got x minus two again. I've got x plus one, then I have x plus one again, but I haven't done all of them. 
There's this guy hanging out the front. There's a minus one. He's a fifth factor, okay? Now, I'm going to draw all of them on, okay? I'm going to draw every single one. So, x minus 2 and x minus 2 on the same spot here and here. Okay, I'm drawing two just enough apart so that I can see them. x plus 1 and x plus 1. They are here and here, okay? But then I have one more factor. Negative 1. Where does he belong? y equals negative 1 is not a line like this, is it? y equals negative 1. y equals negative 1 is in fact a horizontal line, right? He goes down here, and he's always negative 1. So he doesn't go up or down, he just hangs out there horizontally, okay? All right, this has got more factors than before, but we can still do them, okay? I'm going to draw my dotted lines, which is where my factors change sign. Okay. So, over here on the left, Right? How many factors do I have? Five of them. One, two, three, four, five. They're all negative. Five negative factors. So when you put them all together, negative. it's going to be negative because it's an odd number, isn't it? Okay. So I'm, I'm down here. Okay. Now I cross over. What happens now? Well, I've got two positive, and how many negative? Three negative. One, two, and three. So three negatives is going to be. Negative, right? Still negative. Okay. Last one, okay, I cross over here and I've got five factors still. How many are positive and how many are negative? Four positive. Four are positive, one, two, three, four, and then one is negative. This guy down here, he just doesn't care. He's just a bit of a hipster, right? So if I've got one negative and four positives, the result will be negative. So in fact, interestingly, this particular graph is always negative, okay? So, now I'm ready to draw this thing, right? Remember, I know what kinds of roots these are, right? They are um, double roots, so they're going to touch and turn. They're going to touch and turn. So here, I mean, I'm always going to be down here. So I'm going to start down here, and I'm going to touch and turn around, right? And I've got to come back up so I can touch and turn around. And that's it. There's the graph. It never changes sign. It's always down here, okay? And so you can see, that's what you're going to get. Um, pick another one for me in question two. It can be earlier or later. Pick another one. H. H. That is very original. Um, <laughs> the next one, let's give it a shot. Write down the equation for me and then let's draw a set of axes. Uh, wrong color. 2H. Um, okay. Yeah, Okay, now I'm going to use this as my opportunity to show you that actually I've been drawing every single factor every single time, but you can save some time, I'm going to show you how. Okay, so have a look at this. First things first, tell me the intercepts. Where does it cut the axis? Four and negative one. Negative one. Good, so I'll put negative, uh, I'll put four, one, two, three, four there, and negative one there. Okay, so I know the roots now. Now, just before I draw the factor lines, okay, just before I draw the factors, I want you to come back over here, right? Did you notice, because I've got two factor lines sitting on the same spot, do you notice they don't actually change anything, right? Because on the left here, they're both negative, so they end up as positive. And over here, they're both positive, so they still end up as positive. So they don't actually change the result at all, okay? So therefore, this guy here, you see how he's x minus four, x minus 4, x minus 4, right? Two of them I can actually ignore because they don't change the result, right? They don't make it odd or even. They just, I've got the same number of negatives or positives, okay? So in fact, for this guy here, instead of drawing three of them all in the same spot, I just need to draw one. x minus 4, like that, okay? Um, you can see another way of writing this is to say this is x minus 4 all squared times x minus 4, x plus 1, okay? But this guy's always positive. He'll never change the sign of what's going on. Whatever I multiply this by, this is the important sign, and this is why I can just ignore it, okay? In terms of positive or negative, okay? All right, x minus 4, I've drawn that one. x plus 1, that's there. I've got all the factors I need. I draw my vertical lines. Okay, tell me where I'm going to go. On the left, both my factors are negative, so my result is positive. I cross over. One factor is positive and the other factor is 
Negative. So my product is? Negative. negative. And then I'm going to switch over one more time. So now I know where I've got to go. Okay. One more piece of information I need to know. Um, I've got two kinds of roots going on here, right? That's a single root. I know what that does. That just cuts through. But then this guy is a triple, triple root. root. So he does not cut through. He just comes up to the axis, he pauses, and then he, keep pour, he passes through, he keeps going in the same direction. Okay? So which one of them is which? This is the single root, and this is the triple root. Are you okay with that? All right, ready? Let's join the dots, okay? It's gonna cut straight through, right? There's, I've gone from positive to negative, cut straight through, and then here's my triple root. So I'm gonna come up to him, pause, and then pass through. Keep going in the same direction, okay? You see, that was not difficult at all, trying to work it out. Once you've got all the pieces there, there's only one possible thing you can do. 